So that black and white thinking is fundamentally also what keeps us stuck. Let's take a look at how, you know, this sort of situation manifests when it comes to changing. Have you ever been in a situation where, you know, you're looking at a calendar and you think, okay, on this day, this particular day is the day I'm gonna make the change. I'm gonna start the diet, I'm gonna join the gym. That's the day I'm going to have my last cigarette. On that day, that's when I'm gonna get started. So then you get started and now you're on your way. Now you're feeling really good. You're on the program. You're on the wagon. You're on whatever it is that you're on, but then you slip up. You fall off the wagon. Here's the thing that I want you to keep in the back of your mind. You're going to slip up. You're going to relapse. You're going to have moments when things aren't really going your way and that's okay. It's inevitable because this is how real and lasting progress and change happens. This is what it looks like. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, another step back. Two steps forward, one step back. Two steps forward, another step back. So two steps forward, one step back. That's a net gain of one step. That's how I want you to see it. That's a net gain of one step. Stop looking at all the steps you've taken backwards, okay? You, you're still gaining. You're still going somewhere. When you put all those steps and all those net gains together, that's how you create the lasting change that you're trying to make. That's how you get where you wanna be. But that's when black and white thinking gets in the way when you take that first step back. Because you think, oh, I've done it now. I've fallen off the wagon. Now I'm gonna have to wait till next time when I have the opportunity again, or you know, when I've built up the courage to attempt it again. That's when you find people that are comfortable just staying off the wagon. Okay, they think, what's the point? I fell off it, I don't wanna get back on it again. I'm just gonna fall off it. That's a classic example of black and white thinking when it comes to making a change. Black and white thinking equals a fixed mindset. In order to make the changes that you want to make, you're gonna to have to learn how to bounce back over and over again, okay? Every time you take that step back, you're gonna to have to learn how to get back up and keep going because black and white thinking is what keeps the fixed mindset in place. Remember back to those kids that you know did that puzzle that were praised for their intelligence. Remember that their unconscious mind was thinking, hang on a second, you think if I take this harder challenge and if I fail, I'm not intelligent anymore, which means that I'm either intelligent or I'm stupid. That's black and white thinking. Either or, white or black, all or nothing.